Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is what kind of inheritance pattern is illustrated in this pedigree. Please name one or more specific traits that might fit this pattern of transmission and expression. Take a look, we have some peculiarities here, for example, here only male affected and this couple has children, both uh, females and males. Females are not affected. But when they form a family, they have also children of both sex, but only males are affected with this genetic disorder. And for example, here we also see that this trait skipped a generation and then reappear again, but only males are affected. We see that this trait skipped this uh, generation none of the females are affected but again in the next generation only males are affected we can explain this pattern if we suggest that this is x link recessive genetic disorder and genotype of this male on top is going to be defective x chromosome and normal y chromosome genotype of female also going to be defective X chromosome and normal X chromosome. Because this is recessive genetic disorder, female that has one normal X chromosome, a phenotype would be normal. But because males doesn't have two X chromosomes and only have one X chromosome, even if they have recessive allele here, but because this is the only active allele, such a recessive genetic disorder in males would be uh, expressed phenotypically as dominant genetic disorder. What we see here, we see that this male got Y chromosome from his father and defective X chromosome from his mother. What about females here? All females got defective X chromosome from the father side, for example, here, here, and here. And because these females show normal phenotype, we know that they got normal X chromosome from the mother side. So they are going to be heterozygous, but the phenotype is going to be normal. So this generation of females skipped this genetic disorder. And what we see in the next generation, we see that these males here got defective X chromosome from the mother side and normal Y chromosome from the father side. So genotype XY, XY. And because they have only one X chromosome, which is defective, the phenotype is also going to be affected. Now let's take a look at this couple we see consanguineous mating here. So usually we put double line here. What we see in this family? We assume that this male is genotypically normal. Let's assume that this female got both X chromosome from mother side and father side, which are normal. So what we are going to see in the next generation, we would see that each daughter are going to get from mother side only normal X chromosome because both X chromosomes on the mother side are normal. But from the father side, they only can get defective X chromosome. So all females are going to be, all daughters of this couple are going to be heterozygous, phenotypically would be normal, but would be carriers. For example, as for this male, this male are going to get Y chromosome from the father side and defective X chromosome from the mother side. Male also can get normal X chromosome from the mother side and in this case he is going to be phenotypically normal. Female here can get from the father side only normal X chromosome and it doesn't matter which chromosome this female is going to get from the mother side. It can be normal or with defective allele. 
her phenotype is still going to be normal. So I would put normal X and blank space for the second chromosome. Now let's analyze this couple. We see that this woman is heterozygous. So let me show you example with Punnett square. And we see that this male is normal. So genotype is normal X and Y chromosome. And if we build a simple Punnett square, we can see the progeny. So defective X chromosome from the mother side here and here, and normal X chromosome from the father side, normal X chromosome from the mother, normal X chromosome from the father, normal Y chromosome here, normal X chromosome from the mother side, and normal Y chromosome here. 50% of the females are going to be carriers, but the phenotype is going to be normal, and 50% are going to be genotypically and phenotypically normal. So all the female progeny is going to be phenotypically normal, but as for the male progeny, half of them are going to express this genetic disorder and half are going to be phenotypically normal. What we see here, this female, because she has affected sons, we can say that she got from the mother side defective X chromosome, and from the father side, she only can get normal X chromosome. And we see that this males here got defective X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side, defective X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side. And here we can say that this male got normal X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side, normal X chromosome this female only can get from the father side, and it doesn't matter which chromosome she got from the mother side, so we put blank space. Her phenotype is still going to be normal. Now it is interesting what we see here. So let me again show you a Punnett square if male is carrier of this genetic disorder or of course because he has only one X chromosome he is going to be affected and female is phenotypically and genotypically normal, we expect following patterns in their progeny. Take a look. All the females are going to be carriers and all the males are going to be phenotypically and genotypically normal, so 100% of the progeny are going to be phenotypically normal. But we see that this male is affected. This gives us information that this female is heterozygous, defective X chromosome and normal X chromosome. And this son got defective X chromosome from the mother side and not from the father. From the father, he only can get Y chromosome. This male here got normal X chromosome from the mother, normal Y chromosome from the father. And as for this female, from the father side, she only can get defective X chromosome. But because her phenotype is normal, we know that she got from mother side normal X chromosome. By the way, in this family, girls are also can be affected. If they are going to get defective X chromosome from the father side and defective X chromosome from the mother side. And that means that 50% of the girls in this family also going to be affected with this genetic disorder, not only 50% of the males, but also 50% of the females, because both parents are heterozygous. And we just left with these two people. So let's analyze. Here is the genotypes of the parents. And we know that this male got normal X chromosome from the mother side and normal Y chromosome from the father side. And this female, of course, got normal X chromosome from the father side. And it doesn't matter which chromosome she got from the mother side, it can be defective or normal X chromosome, her phenotype is still going to be normal. 
Now as for the second part of this question, please name one or more specific trait that might fit this pattern of transmission and expression. One is most popular answer would be red-green color blindness follows this pattern and the second would be hemophilia. Both of these genetic disorders are X-linked recessive genetic disorders. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.